Infrared People Counter, Model HXHE2, Installation Guide. Packaging List, Infrared People Counter Receiver Transmitter, Rechargeable Battery, Battery Charger, Quick Guide, Qualified Certificate, and 3M Glue. The device comes in two colors, black and white. Cloud Management Platform Binding Equipment. Open the browser on your computer and enter the Customer Flow Cloud Platform website address, vf.4ir.com. Enter your account number, password, and verification code on the login page. Complete the input and click login. Note, the account password needs to be activated by contacting the supplier. After successful login, follow the steps below to add the device SN number to the platform. Step 1. Create a new organizational structure under the basic module to build a framework that is easy to manage. Click the plus sign to create a new structure and fill in the name of the structure. Taking a shopping mall as an example, set the shopping mall as the overall level, each floor as a sublevel, and each store as an entity in the sublevel. You can continue to create new layers below the newly created level. Step 2. Create an entity in Entity Management. Click on the Add button. Fill in the name, contact number, and email of the entity. Select the organizational structure to which the entity belongs, and select the business hours of the entity. Note, outside business hours, the device will stop counting. Fill in the city and address where the entity is located, and select the time zone corresponding to the area where the entity is located. Note, time zone settings will be synced to the device's time. Complete entity creation. Step 3. Create an entrance in the Entrance and Exit Management, click on the Add button, and fill in the Entrance and Exit name. You can name it according to the installation location of the equipment to facilitate later maintenance and management. Select the entity it belongs to, and the entrance and exit will be bound to this entity. Select whether it is an entrance or exit. If you select Yes, the data of the entrance and exit will be summarized under the bound entity. Complete the creation of the entrance and exit. Step 4. Add a device in Device Management, click Add, enter the device name, and name it according to the installation location to facilitate later maintenance and management. Enter the device SN serial number. The serial number can be queried on the device. Select the device type and device model, and fill in the data reporting interval. Note, the reporting interval is recommended to be at least 5 minutes. The reporting interval can be set to 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, etc. The longer the reporting interval, the slower the battery power consumption. Click confirm after the settings are completed and the device is added successfully. Observe that the device status is unbound at this time. Step 5. Bind the device to the entrance, switch to the entrance and exit management, select the entrance and exit to which the device is bound, click the bind button, query the device through the serial number or device name, check the device, click OK, and the binding is completed. Return to the device management page and query the status of the current device again. If the device status is offline, it is necessary to configure the network on the device side. Device network configuration. Step 1. Battery installation method. The infrared people counter consists of the transmitter and the receiver. To install the battery, first open the front cover of the device. Press the buckle firmly and open the front cover towards the palm of your hand, installing batteries at the transmitter, the red and blue indicator lights flash simultaneously, and the transmitter is successfully powered on, then align the front cover with the snap position and press around. Install the battery on the receiver, pay attention to whether the positive and negative poles are installed correctly, the screen lights up, the device is starting to load. The loading is successful, and the configuration operation is carried out on the receiver. At this point, the flashing red light indicates that the device is out of focus and requires code matching. Only after successful code matching can the device count normally. Switched on the device to Start Code, Page, Press and hold the right button to enter the following page. Align the receiver and the transmitter horizontally, using the transmitter as the reference, and start coding automatically call back to the main interface after successful matching. 
Step 2. Configure Wi-Fi on the device. First, open the device hotspot switched on the device and enter AP configuration. Press and hold the right button to enter the following page. The IP address and countdown are displayed on the screen, and the device hotspot has been successfully turned on. Then, turn on the WLAN function of the mobile phone, it is recommended to turn off mobile data, search the WLAN network, find the hotspot with the name starting with Fourier and the last four digits of the device serial number. The device serial number can be queried on the device. Hotspot has no password, after the hotspot connection is successful, it will automatically jump to the configuration login page. If some mobile phones encounter situations where they cannot automatically redirect, you can open the mobile browser and input 192.168.7.1 in the URL input field to enter the passenger flow allocation page. Note, not searching for login through search engines. Enter the login password with a default password of 123456. Click sign in. Click the Wi-Fi search button. Select the Wi-Fi you want to connect to after the search is completed and enter the corresponding password for that Wi-Fi. Note, when configuring a network each time, if the same network was previously configured, you still need to click on the Wi-Fi search button to search for the network and enter the password. And click OK. When the device attempts to connect to the configured Wi-Fi, the connection is successful in approximately 10 seconds. If Wi-Fi cannot be connected, the Wi-Fi connection will fail after 20 seconds, and you need to press and hold the right button to return to the menu. Then re-enter the AP to check if the Wi-Fi password is correct. The device prompts, Wi-Fi succeed. Remove the battery and reinstall, restart the device. Switch to the View Server Status page, at this time the status is online. Refresh the page on the cloud platform. Check the device status, and the device status will also become online. The network configuration is successful. IR People Counter Installation Methods There are three installation methods for IR People Counter. The first method is wide 3M glue to stick the entire back of the device, and then attach the device to the wall. The second method is to stick with a narrow 3M glue. You need to prepare a pair of tweezers. Push out the bracket along the small hole at the bottom. Stick a narrow 3M glue onto the bracket. Then stick the bracket to the installation position. And finally clip the device onto the bracket. The third method is screw installation. Preparing three screws to fix the bracket to the wall and finally clamping the device onto the bracket. The installation height of IR People Counter is about 3.2 feet to 4.6 feet, and the transmitter and receiver are at the same height. Mark them with a ruler and marker. The receiver end, with screen, is installed on the right side of the entrance direction. The transmitter, without screen, is installed on the left side of the entrance direction. Install the transmitter at the marked position, using the transmitter position as a reference, and hold the receiver to start coding. If the code matches successfully, it will automatically return to the home page, then install the receiver. After entering and exiting the test, check the data on the device is correct or not. The installation is complete. Remote upgrade method for customer cloud platform. Under the basic module, select device management, search for the device that needs to be upgraded through the serial number, Click on the Upgrade option in the Operation button. Select the device model, firmware type, and version number that needs to be upgraded. Click to confirm. Return to the device receiving end, remove the battery and reinstall it. Restart the device, and wait for the upgrade. Device loaded successfully, version upgraded successfully.